picture, Stephen. It's the development that has lit up the computer industry for all the wrong reasons. Now, Iran has confirmed that some of its high-ranking officials' computers have been hacked by the flame virus. What is it I hear you ask? Well, we've had a look. Vitaly Kamluk was part of the expert team looking for malicious computer code said to be wiping sensitive data from computers in Iran. What they found was the most sophisticated malware he'd ever seen. This is obviously um, a cyber weapon. And uh, if that is nation state supported as we think it, uh, this is actually a new new stage uh, of you know cyber warfare. The code gathers the usual malware fare, emails and passwords, but can also grab images and switch on computer microphones to record conversations, then it sends it all somewhere. The attackers are smart, they are trying to hide their identities. The flame virus is huge, 20 megabytes, and uses a programming language which can be continuously updated. Maybe expensive in terms of development, but very flexible. Kaspersky virus busters believe the code took more than a year to perfect and say it will take them just as long to crack. Looks like Apple may send Facebook a friend request. Speaking at a conference in California, Apple CEO Tim Cook has said he sees the possibility of greater cooperation with the social network. He said Facebook was a great company, he has great respect for them, and people should stay tuned. Cook also teased fans with talk of incredible new products, but wasn't giving too much else away. Used to be the butt of the joke in the motoring world, but nobody's laughing now. The Toyota Prius has become the third most popular car in the world. The hybrid was plagued by production problems after last year's earthquake and tsunami in Japan. But new tax breaks in its home country and consumer demand in the US have double sales. There's more good news for Toyota too. The Corolla is still the number one selling car in the world. Now he's worth around $19 billion, but you wouldn't know it. Mark Zuckerberg has been branded a bit of a cheapskate in Italy, where he's on honeymoon with his wife Priscilla. Despite his riches, the Facebook founder failed to leave a tip on a 25 euro bill at a restaurant in Rome. Maybe he had a good reason for the penny pinching, though. He came up empty when he tried to get cash out of an ATM, apparently. Uh, it was out of order.